Kia ora te whanau. I've um, written something this morning I want to share with the world. It's an acknowledgement of the pain that I'm noticing in my heart. It comes from uh, ignoring the whispers and calls of soul, missing the trains out of thought, the passages of progress that are going nowhere. And it's the realization that everything I want, maybe it speaks to you too, everything we want is actually right here and it doesn't cost a penny. And it's about this, uh, the failure to honor this movement of soul. I wrote a poem recently, it's, the, it's a big poem for me because I, I broached the subject of being a settler, an immigrant in a land where I live and recognizing that the place I choose to call my home for now is on stolen land. And I wanted to call it the mihi to the mana whenua in acknowledgement of the people who were before. And, but in this poem, I arrive at the significant place where I say, um, having spoken a lot about a few deep things, I'd love to share the poem with you another time. But I can't arrive at this place and I say, now I dare to call them in. All that has been sent away, the, the voices that have been conveniently ignored for the voice of another, and as I call them in, what I want to call in is, yeah, grief, uh, betrayal, greed, and this, in, this ancestry of power over. And um, of all of them, they're all, they're all, yeah, they're all, all of those things are actually clothes, clothes of the one. And if ever you've come across the character, the mythological character, Beowulf, then I think, let's put it in modern parlance, he, she, they <laughs> were onto something when they said, it's not the fear you fear, it's the mother of the fear. It's the mother of the fear. So those words, grief, betrayal, greed, power over injustice, and a hundred others are the clothes of something else, and that is the work. And it touched me because I realized that the wars that are happening in the world, they're not out there. I mean, they are, but they're not. They're, they're, and the, the, the line between good and evil is closer than close. Odysseus is alive and is heading home. <laughs> it's an epic, this journey. When all is said and all is done, there's only one task. When all is said and all is done, there's only one task. Find the one who speaks in many tongues of survival. The voices of those, the voices, the masks, the clothing of the intimate one within, and call them in and honor all those protective strategies. And one day, one day, maybe I, we might recognize who and what we are, what's underneath all that. That would be the end of the war, I think. Yeah, go well.